After the Crusaders showed greed for the wealth and money of the Middle East following the fall of the Byzantine Empire due to the occupation of it by the Crusaders and its division into three countries, the Pope of the Orthodox Church, Pope Innocent III, sought to restore the fighting spirit to the Crusaders again, and in order to overcome the problem of funds exploited by the state of Venice in order to distance the Crusade from Egypt, the Pope established an institution to manage the Crusades, and the mission of this institution is to restore the fighting spirit to the soldiers of Europe again and also it has another distinctive role, which is to secure the source of income of the Crusades by imposing a dedicated tax on the Europeans, thus ensuring that the Pope achieves the goals of his campaign without any obstacles. After the great victory achieved by Saladin in the Second Crusade and his restoration of the Kingdom of Jerusalem, as well as his fierce fight with Richard the Lionheart, which eventually ended with the conclusion of the Ramla Treaty between him and Richard the Lionheart, the kings of Europe realized that the state controlling the reins of the Middle East and of course controlling the Kingdom of Jerusalem is the Ayyubid state, so the goal of the Crusades at the beginning of the Fifth Campaign was to eliminate this state in the beginning in order to ensure stability the Kingdom of Jerusalem in Jerusalem and of course in order to eliminate the Ayyubid state must attack its seat of rule in Egypt, and indeed the armies have been prepared in order to go to invade Egypt. The kings of Europe sought to mobilize in large numbers, including King Frederick of Germany, King John of Landless, and also the King of Hungary. These kings pledged to provide soldiers and equipment to Commander Pelagius, commander of the European armies coming from the west, which met with the forces of King Bahana Dabrian and Prince of Antikia Bohemd IV, and all these leaders went immediately to the city of Damietta, located on the eastern branch of Damietta. This city had a very large commercial position in this period, and its capture would have secured for the Crusaders. Adequate supplies and equipment to complete the invasion of Egypt, it also constituted a powerful means of pressuring the full king to bargain with it over Jerusalem, but the Crusaders did not understand this well. The king of Egypt in that period was the full king's son of the fair Ayyubid king. The full king was in control of both Egypt, the Levant and the Hias countries and of course the kingdom of Jerusalem. The full king realized the danger coming from the west so he fortified the city of Damietta well but he was afraid of something much more dangerous than the Crusaders, the Mongols. Yes the Mongols in that period were in severe conflict with the algorithmic state, and with the fall of the sprawling algorithmic state, which had a very great position among all the Muslim countries. After watching the king complete what happened with the king of the state Khwarezm and how he was eliminated, the heart of the king was terrified and it is said that he lived in Damietta and prepared his army to prepare for the great danger coming from the east. It is known that Hannah de Perian is the king of Jerusalem and that Pelagius is the commander of the crusader forces coming from the west in order to return Jerusalem to Hannah de Perian. So it is expected that the authority of Hannah de Perrin will rise above the authority of the commander Pelagius, but this did not happen. After the siege of Pelagius of the city of Damietta for more than a year and a half and some historians stated that it reached two years, Pelagius was able to control the city and it is said that the inhabitants of Damietta have suffered severely from this the siege, and surprisingly, the king had sent a letter to Pelagius asking him to leave Damietta in exchange for Jerusalem and a treaty lasting for three years, but Pelagius rejected this and wanted to continue the war in order to invade Egypt completely. I want to remind you of an important thing, which is that most of the army of Egypt is in the Levant for fear of the danger of the Mongols, so the force in Egypt was not able to confront the Crusaders, despite the suffering of the people of Damietta and it is said that the majority of the population has died in this siege, but the danger of the Mongols and the extent of terror they caused in this world made the king full does not care what the crusaders do in Egypt in exchange for addressing this danger. After Pelagius was able to control Damietta and also rejected for the second time the king's request to hand over Jerusalem in exchange for Damietta, and continued to invade Egypt despite the objection of King Hannah de Bryan about this matter and it is said that he left Pelagius alone and left the campaign. 
the extreme ego of Pelagius gained from the treatment of the king just indecisive for this matter made Pelagius believe that he could invade Egypt and continued heading to Cairo, but on the way he was not aware and well aware of the Egyptian lands, periods the flood greatly contributed to the disruption of his army as the desert atmosphere of Egypt weakened over time the resolve of the crusader soldiers, yet Pelagius continued on his way. It is said that after the defeat of the Khwarezm state, the Mongols entered into a conflict with the peoples of the north, so the full king thought that the Mongols would not go to the east, so he directed the army of Egypt in the Levant to Egypt again, and when the Egyptian army returned to Egypt, Pelagius found himself in big trouble, which with time suffered a lot from his ignorance of Egyptian lands, so he lost in his war against the army of Egypt, and then Pelagius asked the full king to hand over Damietta in exchange for his departure with his soldiers from Egypt. The fifth crusade ended in failure due to the stupidity and arrogance of the commander Pelagius.